Hello everyone, this is JDog406 coming back for another coin roll hunting video, and today we are getting into another box of pennies. There were no enders in this box, so I'm just going to pick a random roll and get started with it. Alright, let's move on. Alright, we're getting into this first roll right here. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, I already see a wheat second penny into the box. Or not box roll. 1948. Very, very nice first find. Is there going to be two in here? Ooh, it's looking like it could be a good chance. See a lot of copper. Alright, we got that flipped. We do have our first bicentennial penny too, so we have the formative years right here, and it's a Denver. Alright, put that one to the side and continue through. Alright, that's a 68. Alright, that is the end of that first roll, so we will be moving on to the next roll. Right. We are moving on to this next roll right here. I'm still very surprised to find a wheat penny on the first roll, second penny into the roll it was. And we got a 2009 formative years off that last roll too. Let's see if the second roll has anything though. Alright. Doesn't seem to be anything up there. There's a 61. Alright, there was nothing in that second roll, so we will be moving on to the next roll. We're getting into the third roll of the box. We did not find anything in the last roll that we opened, so hopefully something can come from this one. Looks like there's some chances towards the back end. Right, we got all of that flipped. It's just a 79 up front. Nothing special about it. 83. Oh, we do have a bicentennial. Alright, so we do have the birth and early childhood right here. And it is a Denver. Alright, very nice. Put that one to the side. I do not believe there was anything else, so we will be moving on to the next roll. Alright, this is the fourth roll of the box. Let's see what's here. Maybe we can get another fine. Maybe we can get a first Canadian. Maybe another 2009. Alright, we are going through here. Alright, we do have another 2009. This is the Presidency. And it is a Denver. Alright, very nice look at that. We've found three of the four designs already. Nothing there. Alright, we will be moving on to the next roll. Alright, we are getting into this next roll right here from finding that 2009 Presidency. Let's see what we can get out of this roll. Got that out the way. Nothing that I can see up front. Seventy-eight. Hopefully that first wheat penny wasn't a fluke. Alright, and there's nothing in this roll, so I will continue to only show the stuff that I find in the rolls. Let's move on. This is approximately the 17th roll of the box. Let's see what we can get out of this one. It has been quite a long time since I've found anything. So let's see here. Terribly eroded. What's that? 82. All 
right. There is nothing in this roll. Hopefully we can find something soon, but we're going to be moving on to the next one. Getting into this next roll right here. Hopefully we can get something. It's been a significantly long time since we've found something. We're almost at the halfway point of the box. All right. Got that all opened up and I'm skimming through. Let's see what happens. Is there anything in here? And I don't believe that there is. We are very close to our halfway point of the box. This is the 21st roll. Let's see if we can even get a 2009. It's been way, way too long. Alright. Sixty-two. All right, there is nothing. All right, we're getting into this next row right here. Hopefully, we can get something. I'm not seeing anything up there. Oh, we do have something here. And it's a fairly nice find, too. It's a young head Canadian. All right, you can still see a fair bit of the design. Let's flip that over and see what this is. Ooh, it's a older Canadian. All right. It was already older, but it's even older than I thought it was going to be. It's a 59. All right, we'll be putting that one to the side. I do not believe there is anything else in here, so we will be moving on. So we are going on to the next roll from that uh, young head Canadian we found. And it is the uh, second to the halfway point. So let's see what we can get here. Ooh, we do have our first 59 in uh, America. All right, 59 Philadelphia. We just found a 59 young head in the last roll, so that's pretty cool. Let's continue through here, though. All right. Ooh, we do have another Canadian here, too. All right, so 1980, and it's not going to be a young head. It's going to be a... I'm not exactly sure what to call this one crowned yeah or tiara i think it is we sticking that one to the side i do not believe there's anything else so we will be moving on we are at the halfway point i am happy that we did have a couple more finds before this but hopefully we can get some more out of this and more to come through the rest of the box let's see what's here all right Got that open. Nothing up top. Not seeing anything. All right, let's move on to the next. We're getting into the 25th to the end roll. Let's see if there's anything here. This box hasn't been too too great I've definitely had better all right got everything else flip that Ooh, we do have a really nice find right here there's a lot of luster still left on this 1957 Denver all right I'm putting that one off to the side Right as I was talking smack about the box, it gives me something pretty good looking. Alright, and I don't believe I'm seeing anything else, so we will be moving on to the next roll. We are getting into this next roll right here. Hopefully we can get something. 
has been about four rolls since we found that 57 Denver. Not seeing a whole lot, but I do see a Canadian in the far back. All right. So we do have this 1975, which it'll be the Tiara Obverse. Very, very nice looking coin. Be putting that one to the side. Go through the rest of that, and I don't believe I see anything else, so we will be moving on. It has been quite a few rolls since we'd found that uh, Canadian, so let's see what's here. Maybe we'll get another one. Maybe we'll get another wheat penny soon. All right, I do see a wheat penny right there. Kind of got some green gunk on it. Other than that, it's got a lot of nice designs still left. It's probably going to be in the 50s. 1958, last year that they did a wheat penny. All right. Stick that one to the side, flip the rest of the roll, see what's here. Not seeing anything else. Yeah, not seeing anything else, so we will be moving on to the next roll. Moving on to this next roll right here, hopefully we can get something. It has been a couple of rolls since we found that 58 Denver. But we got the roll open. Let's flip all the coins. See what's here. Oh, we do have a find right here. So it is a 1959 Denver. No mule back but still a fairly nice find put that one to the side and i don't think there's anything else so we will be moving on to the next roll. all right we're getting into this next roll right here hopefully we can get something got it all opened up flip that little top bit right there let's just see what we can get Ooh, okay, okay, this is a really, really old Canadian find right here. King George the Fifth, I believe this is. Oh my, so this is going to be, I believe, 30, like 1937 or younger. Ooh, 1933, oh my. This is a very, very nice Canadian find. I'm actually, I'm really, really happy about this. This is definitely going into one of my books that I have. All right. Let's put this down, though. Take a good look at it real quick. But let's put it down. Let's see what else is in here. That's an amazing find. I'm, I'm baffled. That's my first uh, one that I've ever found. Of King George V. I found uh, quite a few King George IVs, but that is just amazing. All right, we're getting into this next roll from finding that 1933 Canadian, the oldest Canadian that I've ever found coin roll hunting. It, it baffles me some of the things that people throw in here and don't even realize it. I have no clue what it could be worth, but it's definitely rare. It's probably even rare up in Canada. But, let's get through this one. See what's here. Not seeing a whole lot. Yeah, there's nothing in this roll, so we will be continuing on. I'm still very happy to find that Canadian, but let's move on. Getting into this next roll right here. It has been a couple of rolls since we found that Canadian. Which is a really nice Canadian still. Let's 
see what's in this one though. Bunch of rotted coins at the top. Seventy-five, eighty-one. Okay, it has been a while since I've seen one of these too. So we have a two thousand nine, but this one's the presidency. So I do think we complete all four designs for Denver. So that's very nice too. Other than that, there is nothing in this roll. So we will move on to the next one. Coming down to the last final five rolls of the box. See if we can get any more finds from the last five rolls. Alright, we got that open. Nothing in that front bit. Nothing in that roll, so we'll be moving on to the fourth from the last. This is the fourth to the last roll. Let's see if we can get something out of this one. Do not find anything in the last one that we opened up. Alright, got that flipped. What's that? It's a 64 Denver. Not seeing anything. Alright, yeah, there's nothing here, so we will be moving on to the third to the last roll. Alright, we're getting into this next roll right here. This is the third to the last roll. Seeing a bit of copper, we do have a chance for maybe a wheat penny here. 82, 86... 80, bunch of 80s. Seventy three and not seeing anything, so we will be moving on to the second to the last roll. We're getting into the second to the last roll. We only have this one and another chance to find something great. We got that flipped. Let's see what's here. And I'm not seeing anything there, so we will be moving on to the next roll. This is the final roll of the box. Let's see what's in this one. We have one more chance to get a nice, great find. Let's see if we can get a nice old wheat penny or a nice really old Canadian. Not seeing anything on that top bit. I'm going through this though. Let's see what's here. Not seeing anything at all. So that is the end of this one. We will be coming down to the conclusion in just a second. We do have all four designs for our 2009s. They are all Denvers. So first off, we have the birth and early childhood. The formative years. The president, or not the presidency, the professional life. And then the presidency. Then over here we have our Canadians and we have one young head which is that 1959, two tiaras which is that 75 and that 80. Let me just flip them so that you can see the designs. Alright. As you can see right there, young head to the left, tiara version to the right. Alright. Then we have this 1959 Denver and 1959 Philadelphia. We found one of each for those. Then we come over here to our wheat pennies. We have a 1958 Denver, a 1957 Denver, and a 1948 Philadelphia. 
and right here I do just want to flip that and show you how nice that one looks very nice luster still left on it but then we come down to the greatest find of the box so we do have our King George the fifth and this is a very very nice coin I freaking I'm just surprised that it was even in here out of everything that I found didn't find very much but very happy to get this box if I didn't get this box I wouldn't have gotten this but we do have it being a 1933 right there very very nice find and I will be showing some information on these in just one second we are punching in this 1933 at 12 million minted, 12.079, 310. That is a very low mintage coin for Canada. And it uh, is also the first one of that one that I've found coin roll hunting. I do have a couple more, as you can see right up here. But, yeah. I do have the first one, but I did not find this one coin roll hunting. And I did not find this one coin roll hunting either, but I still do have them. And this might take a second. This is a brand new book, so I'm not going to record me punching it in, but it is going in. I do want to say I have this 1959 up here that's coming in at 83.6 million minted. Then there is a 75. 1975 is coming in at 642.6 million minted. Very high mintage coin. You'll more than likely find one. And we have the 1980 that we found at 911.8 million minted. But other than that, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.